We might just get hit with the reaper. Me Millie. Cause we in the field with them birds like we play for the eagle. I'm on probation, so let me not talk with the legal. Switch it up. Today I woke up with my drinker. She rich as a beetle. For my teacher. Trey Sullivan end up getting released by the Eagles today, this morning. Um, after Trey Sullivan ended up touching the ball on a special teams punt and gave the ball right to the Falcons, something easy. He was the only player that was trying to fight for the ball. Um, he was, I don't know if he knew it was by his foot. He kicked it. The Falcons ended up getting it, and they went the other way on the 23-yard line, whatever the hell it was. So Trey Sullivan is gone. Honestly, Trey Sullivan, has, he hasn't done well. Didn't do good training camp. He was kind of getting up there. He was lifted up a little bit. And then all of a sudden, like, he gets to these games. Preseason, he was missing one-on-one -on -one tackles. Wasn't doing well. But I don't know if this was just a move because we don't need him anymore. But at the same time, when we signed DeAndre Hall, the safety from the Bears, with a lot of off-the-field issues, but he's better than Trey Sullivan. A lot better, guys. A lot better than Trey Sullivan. Um, this guy has a high ceiling to be a starting safety in this league. The problem is, is that he's had off-the-field issues. About two issues that happened this past February, and I think earlier, a little bit later this year. So he was suspended for one game for, I think, substance abuse or, or something like, I don't know, aggravate. I don't know what, what he got suspended for. I forgot. I keep forgetting. But you're going to have Nigel Bradham activated this week. And you are going to have DeAndre Hall activated because he couldn't get activated until week two of the season. So Sunday he will be activated. Um, he will be activated for this game. Okay, so Trey Sullivan is gone. I don't think he's coming back. Um, if they bring him back to practice squad, they can. They they ended up getting rid of I think Rashard Davis, Greg Ward, and getting rid of Trey Sullivan, which is crazy. Um, they have to make room. So you get rid of a guy, you know, you got you got rid of a few guys, you got to bring in some guys, okay? So you have guys that are coming back. Alshon Jeffrey is not on, he's on the roster. Technically, he's taking up a spot. But Nigel Bradham had to come back. He's going to be activated this week and upgrade to our fucking linebacker core. Um, Nate Gary not doing a horrible job, but he's in there sticking it to him. And Cam is looking pretty damn good as a backup linebacker for us. So what does this mean? This means that Nigel Bradham's back. The linebacker core is upgrade. Jordan Hicks is playing like a beast. And DeAndre Hall could get a shot. God forbid Graham, Corey Graham gets hurt or Malcolm Jenkins gets nicked up for a few plays. I want to see what DeAndre Hall can do. The Bears were very... Had for the past few years, the Bears have been have been drafting a lot of corners, a lot of guys in the secondary safeties. So this is a guy that the Eagles like. He's got corner background, but he's only he only runs like a four six. So he's probably not, he's never gonna play corner. Safety's his fucking thing, and he's nasty. Um, you know, I'm not saying he's proved anything yet, but you know, he's got a, a nasty streak to him, a nasty edge to him, and that's what we need here in Philly, especially playing at the safety position. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. So Trey Sullivan gone. Nigel Bradham is back and activated, and now DeAndre Hall, the safety for the Bears coming over, is finally gonna be activated this week. Big upgrade in the, in the safety position because Jeremy Reeves is not doing well um, from South Alabama, not doing well at all. Um, but he's getting taught along the way. We'll give it a year. We'll give it another year for him. But that's the news. That's all I really got to say. So fly goes fly. Shea squad up.